Hi, I'm Renee. And I'm Wayne. And we are Bittersweet Highway. And we're here in the music room. Absolutely honored to have you here this evening. Oh, thank you. What a pleasure.
Do tell us about that song, thinking about it. Is that one that you two wrote? Or? <laughs> it is. Um, we write all of our songs together, um, which has been an interesting process. And that, of all things to start with, is one that doesn't have much of a story behind it. Um, <laughs> it was it started out as a chord progression, yeah. I just started yeah. doing, and she was like, what's that? And that, which is the way yeah, a lot of our yeah. songs, I'll be just playing and she'll go, what's that? Record that, because I also have a tendency to play something and then just forget get it. it. Right. Same thing, right? <laughs> Same thing, so I totally get it. So we have little recorders laying around, <laughs> record that. Yeah, record that. yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, it was a chord progression that I started listening to and just kind of yeah. the story showed Those up. Those melodies, they can bring on the lyrics, can't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have a song called Recycled Love. Tell us about that. <laughs> so we live, or do we? Do we? we uh, still? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it ended up being, well, yeah, all things end up being about love, don't they? But um, it started out, uh, we live quite remote and um, we save up all of our uh, recycling to take into town which is where we were living at this time about 45 minutes away so um, got up one morning it was recycling day and Wayne always has a soundtrack going through his head and we got up and Wayne <laughs> said around here they only take ones and twos it's recycled love babe but it's all for you Oh. In Taos, they only take ones and twos Plastics. for plastic. Oh, okay. So, so that was that was how the day started, and we never did make it in because no. we spent the rest of the day right in the sun. Right in the sun. <laughs> yeah, because I think I have. Yeah, we started, and then and then she started going from there. Yeah, so, it's fun to create, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> so, yeah. Ready? Oh, no, no. 
Thank you. Very nice. Love it. You know, Thank you. you ought to really take that song. And there's so many, you know, Earth Day events and things like that. Oh. Ooh. And you really might want to try and, and shop that with something to do with Earth Day. And, That's a great you know, idea. You might just totally give them That's a whole great new idea. Uh, <laughs> campaign or something. Speaking of Earth Day. Uh oh. Yes. Yes. They got these things out west uh -oh. that are that are called dust devils or dirt devils, and you guys got a song about something like that. Dust devils. And and you know the the well, I've heard them called both, and, yes. and you, I'm sure y'all have too. But when you're driving, if you've never driven to the west the first time, you see them so much. And it's like you get you get it's a almost mini like tornado. Yeah, they it's are. like it's they like are, they're yeah. you yeah. see them yeah. dancing yeah. out in the desert and everything, and even on the water. Sometimes I noticed up yeah. on like Texoma, there would be that little it's like a little water spout. spout. Show yeah, spouts. yeah, and they'll get where we are in the San Luis Valley. They'll get as wide as a stream. The I mean, they're big. They'll, they'll come wow. in and they'll hit you and knock you around, blowing dirt and all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, that uh, usually happens in the summer when we get lots of kind of temperature inversion things. It's cool to write a song about it. <clears throat> when y'all, I want you to tell us about this, but <clears throat> oh, I'll go ahead and mention it now. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to mention it later. Uh, you guys, just a couple of days from now, are going to be doing a show with some of our best friends, uh, uh, two of which sang at our wedding. You're going to, they're going to be at Anderson Fair with Ken Gaines yeah. and Wayne, but they're also going to be there with Alan Hurt. Oh, wow. So that's going to be <laughs> I don't fun. know Alan. And yeah. Well, you will. You will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, will. You, will. you will. Call me after the show. Yeah, and ah, I'm sure it. We'll do a little that you give back as much as he's going to yeah. dish out. Yeah. She's good at that. Oh, yeah, she's, she's good at yeah. 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 that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. Just understand, understand it can come from all angles. Okay. 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 All right. I had an uncle he's like that. He's a wily. Well. Yeah. I hope you're listening to Alan. He's a wily little thing. <laughs> you got a song. Tell us about Dust Devils. Well, again, we live in the San Luis Valley, which is the largest um, alpine valley in the United States. It's 150 miles across. And um, You were talking about low humidity, man. Yeah, 4 percent. Four percent. Oh, wow. That's what we're used to. Yeah. And our instruments, too. Yeah. Sometimes we go places and play, and it's a little confusing. Like Texas. <laughs> but, I um, recognize that guitar when it actually has humidity. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this was... This was actually our first San Luis Valley song. It seems like when you live in the San Luis Valley, if you're an artist of any kind, you're required to create some kind of art about the valley or about the environment. Or the valley compels you to do so, yeah. And, uh, we live in a little town called Jaroso, Colorado. It's just north of the New Mexico border, and uh, we have a population of 13. <laughs> Eleven so, now that you're eleven that we're here. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We actually had our CD. We want to say hi to all eleven of you. There. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had our CD at that time when we released our first CD. <laughs> there were fourteen people that lived in Oro, so and uh, we had our CD release party in Taos, and we were up there playing and looked out and the town was there and and we we're like hi, look the and we're like. Who's watching our houses? There's, there's no. <laughs> <laughs> You're Something probably else. okay though. Oh yeah, not that many people even know where the town is. Yeah. So you guys see dust devils across the valley. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Across yeah. the plateau. We are this this high plains kind of high desert. We're at eight thousand feet, and there are mountains all around us in the distance. And yeah, springtime while we're waiting for the rains to start, dust devils are everywhere. Plentiful. Yeah. So. Something else that I like to say about this song is oh, that dear. if you listen closely, the word irrigation is in it, which I don't know how many songs there are with the word irrigation. There may be more than that. There's one, one Maybe playing, a couple we'll of commercials. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can look, you can Google that and see uh, how many songs are there with the word irrigation in it. Yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> so this is called Dust Devils.
That's another one that was the chord progression again, right? Is that the one that started out with? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. she was like, what's that? Like, yep. I don't know, I was just doodling. Doodling. <laughs> we doodle a lot, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's how songs begin. I can't 
can't tell you how many television shows I've watched that have a soundtrack they don't even know they have because he's sitting there playing guitar while I'm watching yeah. the show. <laughs> there you go. I don't know where did the. She's much. She's the uh, much more of a poet than I am. She's the uh, the wordsmith, and so. She usually is coming up sometimes like, oh, how about this and this and this? And then she'll take it and go, ah, and it's like, ah, and, and there it is. And so, right. But y'all complement each other so well. Oh, thank That's you. the important part, you know? And the question is still, tell us about lullaby. Mm hmm I know it is. So, <laughs> lullaby days. She's blushing. Um, <laughs> coming back around. Somebody just changed the lights, though. <laughs> um... Hit her with that red light ring. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes I don't know where the songs come from. We write actually very few autobiographical songs. Mm -hmm. A lot of times they're just things that show up that I feel really have something to say and I don't always know where they come from. Um, I'm trying to even remember where the initial um, the spark came from for this song. But I remember uh, the feeling was, um, the, the feeling behind Lullaby Days is about, um, it, it's kind of poignant because it's somewhat sweet, but it's also a lot, I think, about, about settling and about what's unresolved um, in us. And that's the way I view it, anyway. That it's um, that longing that we can't really fulfill no matter what we do. So there's just kind of this dichotomy for me in this song. We love well, to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you. 
another song. It's called When Karen Asks About God, which is probably pretty self-explanatory, but go ahead and tell us about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it leads to the inevitable question. Yes. Who's Karen? Uh, Karen. <clears throat> Karen is um, Karen Lindquist, uh, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Karen Lindquist and Linford Detweiler. They make up the duo Over the Rhine. Beautiful, beautiful um, musical duo, kind of like who we'd like to grow up to be. Um, <laughs> they've been doing this We're older than me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> About 30 years they've been working on this. Um, and we had the um, opportunity to go to a songwriting workshop with them last year. And we spent a weekend um, at their home and, uh, in Ohio in February. What else do you do in Ohio in February, right? Great song. Um, and Karen was talking about how she got started in music. And when she was a child, she lived with her grandparents. And um, one day her grandfather came downstairs, I guess, in a suit and tie. And her grandmother said, well, what are you doing? Where are you going? And he said, well, Karen's been asking about God. So I figured I'd better take her to church. And that's where she first heard a choir and harmonies, and that's where her love of music started. Oh, wow. And so that just kind of haunted me, and that's uh, one of the things we came back from the workshop with once we got home. It was a great time. Was yeah. the song? <laughs>
your website, how they can buy your music, and all that good stuff. So somebody run through that for us real quick. Well, you can... Don't need my life. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Our website is bittersweethighway.com, and you can order CDs through there. We have two CDs, the self-titled Bittersweet Highway, and the second one is It All Falls Away. Um, you can also download individual songs or the albums if you'd like to do it that way. Um, Amazon, CD Baby, yeah. and those places. You can also find us on Facebook at uh, Bittersweet Highway. All right. Yeah. All right. And you guys have got a song that I love the title. Tell us about Black Cadillac. That's where we're at. Let's see. That is. Wow. Okay. So. <laughs> we. Yeah. <laughs> Has to be a good song. Um, this has to be. So we were driving uh, north to Alamosa, which is about an hour from us, um, to record our first CD with Don Richmond, um, Howling Dog Records, up in Alamosa. And um, this little dirt road, we take all the back road. They're all back roads, but you know, yeah. we, we take the, the the really obscure ones. No super highways going. No, no. Well, we have we take this road through a town called Manassa that heads north, and it's this bumpy dirt road. And there was this car out in a field, which we later learned was the um, Sanford Airport. Well, it looked like a field to us. <laughs> yeah, um, I didn't realize how we found out we're driving along, and I thought a plane was crashing because I looked over, and this plane was going down in this field, and it was like, literally dirt, weeds. And then it just out. landed in taxi. <laughs> well, they used to call airports fields like Love Field. Yeah. Right. Well, this is a field. And there was this black Cadillac out in the field, and I really wanted to make something out of it. Um, so I took all these photos, and I kept trying to create this story, and it just didn't happen. And about, I don't know, three or four months later, we turned onto this road one day, and all of a sudden, the story showed up. And I'm always calling to, you know, God, the universe, the forces that be, okay, you know, give, God, me, give me these God's ideas, me. give me these, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, this story came, and I was like, really? You're going to make me sing about this? And I was like, yep. <laughs> you ask for them, you have to listen when they show up. Yeah. And so this is a song that I really feel like um, I had very, very little to do with. I yeah. have no idea really where this came from. And um, Blaming it on God, do, okay. I yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, that's okay. He can um, take it. He's got big shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. It was. It, it was. It, it was really a gift. And I know what you mean. This song is um, a song about the people who serve our country. Um, it's about our veterans. It's about the people who go off um, and serve, and it's about the people who don't come back. But more importantly, it's about what happens to the people and places that are left behind when that happens. Mm -hmm. So this goes out to our veterans. I finally learned how to introduce this without falling apart a whole lot. So it's Black Cadillac. <clears throat>
fields all the wrong But does it matter now that daddy's gone? What does it matter now that daddy's gone? Always talk From yeah, it's, it's, it's got uh, over different connotations. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, God. yeah, veterans and a lot of, we've had a lot of us come We've up. had so thank many veterans come up to yes. us afterward and thank us for writing or people come up concerned that it was my son. <laughs> uh, I mean, just, yeah, yeah it, it's, it's been, that's, that in and of itself has been a remarkable journey. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You have a song, Don't Let It Go. Let it go. Don't sweat the small stuff. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, this isn't about that kind of letting go. It's about, um, this song is about holding on to the things that, that really bring us alive. You know, I think when we're children, we've got this, this bigger sense of, um, Thank you. of the world at large and of life. And, and it's all new and it's special. And we kind of let adulthood and responsibilities and worries change that as we get older. Yep. So this is called loss of innocence. Yeah, <laughs> not imagine that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so this is about about not letting go of, of that memory. That essence that yeah. we come into this life with. So let's hear it.
Thank you. <laughs> I'll tell you, Wayne, I've said it before to you, but that Larrabee is an amazing sounding guitar. That thing has got such a great room sound in it. It's been sitting here in front of it like, I don't really give a damn if it's in the PA or not. It's so rich, <laughs> it's so rich in here, you know, it's like, yes. And how about this cool bag? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Isn't this amazing? Yes, it is. Yeah, that's what you need, Reno. You need that five-string bass back there. <laughs> you guys have done a song called Liza Jane, and I think I heard y'all warming up with this earlier, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> this is Tell us about that. <laughs> This is should we make a, them guess? It's causing a, ga a gaggle or a giggle or a gaggle. Should we, should we make them guess? Let's see how rich we get. Um, we've, no. done this, <laughs> we, we've done this before. We, we've actually played in Texas and, and, and not given a backstory and made people guess. And it's been pretty impressive. Um, We'd rather hear the real story. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Well, it's an interesting story anyway. Okay, well. <laughs> all right. I hate to ruin it, but. You're not um, it's going to ruin the surprise. But um, <laughs> yeah, how, where do you start with this? This is another San Luis Valley song. Um, but you want to tell us about the song after you do it? Why not? Do it. That, okay. that do sounds it. Okay. good. If it That's, makes you feel better. That would be good. Thank you. It's so accommodating. And he's going to leave the wherever, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that part of the fine print? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> Did we sign something with you? Yeah. When did I sign on that sheet? I oh, yeah. something earlier. You didn't have your glasses on. Oh, yeah. Maybe I was wrong. Man. I mean, you know, he doesn't have any guitars. Yeah. So. He doesn't have any guitars. Uh, no. I can see that's a I don't. problem. You don't either, do you? No, not at all. Guitars, pianos, banjos, mandolins, sex, yeah. I possibly play saxophone, mm -hmm. play soprano and alto sax. And things. I don't have all that many, but i got a couple of saxes upstairs. He's in Oh man, I got a saxophone. I got a, I got a, I've got a, uh, a 39, um, what is it? Selmer. Oh, Selmer it tenor? hand etched. It was my, tenor. my dad's a tenor sax. Oh, nice. And wow. you need to look at it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll show it to you. Anyway, wow. y'all got a song called Liza Jane. We're yeah. Back oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my guitar is again. As Rachel Stacy would say, squirrel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we call that, oh, look, there's, there's a chicken. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're in. Sure.
massage therapists in addition to lots of other things. Um, and I think it started as a joke. Kind of the patriarch of the town asked Wayne, well, so does Renee work on cows? And I got curious. Well, why? What happened? And this cow um, had, had, a stillbirth. had a stillbirth and they had to pull the calf uh -huh. and she wouldn't get up afterward. Well, well, she was depressed. And she couldn't get It also pinched a nerve in one of her hips yeah. when they, because they use a big force it. Oh, yeah. wow. I mean, they oh, literally wow. hook it up yeah. to like a tractor sometimes oh, to pull the thing out. Yeah. Oh. And so, uh, yeah, it was so dramatic. So, it for twice twice a day for three weeks, we ran out onto the North Field in this February is, and March. Yeah, <laughs> Which is, and on, worked on this this cow. And I actually researched all sorts of yeah bizarre stuff online, starting to think and about maybe she was depressed. She finally did one day. We were actually... We were playing, yeah. yeah. Well, and it was funny, Harold, again, thought it was, he was kind of joking with me at the post office, Harold Anderson, he's one mm -hmm. of the patriarchs of the town, and and then all of a sudden we started showing up, you know, and he'd be out there feeding the cattle, and he'd come over, well, what, what are y'all doing? And we're like, well, I'm working on these acupressure points, and, and we're, you know, rolling this cow over, and she's looking <laughs> on her... It was the who needs a gym workout, yeah, you know. Yeah, but, and so... Uh, she did, yeah. actually, and eventually. Did we actually. were in town playing, and I got up, and now checking message on my phone was, hey, this is Harold. She's up. She got up. I owe you guys a cow. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. and then oh, we, I love cow. I love cow. It was so amazing to be out in the fields with them. And, yes. you know, we got to, they got to I know bet, us. I bet she loves y'all. Yeah, you can, you I can go, go out. He, Harold let me name her, so I named her Liza Jane. Yeah. And um, we can go out, and I, to this day, this was three years ago, yeah. maybe, and I can go, Liza Jane, and his head pops up. <laughs> oh, <from> <laughs> yeah, she's funny. I love it. That's she a had great a, story. Well, and then I started working on goats. Yeah. Uh huh. And show goats. And We've started. got one out there we should work on. Yeah, there you go. Well, the thing Sign that was the other thing the morning, that, was, that was fun was that after fix the cow, yeah. then people started coming and letting us work on them. <laughs> yeah, it was, cool. People oh, yeah. were kind of like, wait a minute, these people are massage therapists, I don't know. And, <laughs> and then the cow got up, and they were, you know, I've got this. Yeah, yeah I feel like the cow today. Uh, okay. You think you can help me out? <laughs> and you have a song called Home. Tell us wow. about that. <laughs> uh, this is actually... This is actually a song that... Um, is a Texas song in an, in an odd roundabout way. It was, I don't remember when, we were doing um, a tour of Texas, uh, more north Texas. And, how long have you guys been playing together? Though? Since we got married. That's where we started. How so how long is that? Seven? <laughs> seven? <laughs> seven? Yeah, seven. Yeah, seven years. Seven, seven years. years. Okay. Yeah. The, okay, sorry. Back. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Anyway, we were driving across, and I'd seen this small little cemetery a number of times driving across Texas, and to, and um, one time we actually had, yeah, we actually had the time. You know, we're always on the schedule. We actually had the time to stop, and I wandered around, and I took some photos, and just started thinking about it, or it started working on me, and... Um, Sure where the song came from. Small roadside, small little highway, forgotten graveyard. I didn't actually know that. I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Which is happening more and more these. 
<laughs> or he didn't know it and forgot, this, this which is, is a way good. to always be surprised. No, it's really good because, see, this is why it reiterates it. So if you ever forget the story, he'll say, Remember down there and in the music room? Yeah, you said it was a great yeah. girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you right? <clears throat> this is called home. No. Not like right. that. Sorry. <laughs> See, I can't. That was house. house. <laughs> yeah, that was. That was, that was car. That was car. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try that story again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you. <laughs> okay. Home. But really, you guys hold up that folk music so well. And, and Peter, Paul, and Mary. Yeah, that, oh, you've got that so. really nice. I mean, just that that whole that whole thing going on. That it's the vibe between you. It's the whole thing, you know. <laughs> and and I just want you to know that we appreciate you guys coming down today. Thank and y'all come back later in the year, and you're going to be here with Crystal and Will, Crystal Yates and Will. And, uh, if you don't know them, you will. You're going to have fun. You're going to have fun, have fun with each other. They're great. And yeah. They're liable to jump right in on songs. And oh, she good. plays the cajon, and he plays guitar. Really oh, well. very nice. And so, um, yeah, you guys got a song called "It All Falls Away" that you're going to take us out of the show with. Tell us about that. Well, um, this is Fine. actually 
again, where we live in Haroso, it's kind of a long story, I'll try to edit it. Um, it was it's a town that it was a town that was built by the railroad in the early 1900s. It, they built three in the valley. There was a big line that went across east and west, and they built this spur. And they built three towns. And Haroso was the end of the line. And they irrigated the valley. The valley, which is now a high desert, at one point was irrigated, and they grew sugar beets and peas and lettuce and and all these things. And um, the you town that water. Yeah, and the town that we live in actually had a tractor dealership and a car dealership, and and uh, and if you saw it now, you would. <laughs> it's got a post office. Yeah. Um, but so there are all these houses that have been abandoned because that's what happened. The depression hit, the droughts, the, and um, and then people just left. And about a half mile down the road from us, there's this house that we would drive by all the time um, that Renee had been shooting photographs of, and. Um, and it just kind of spoke to her again one day. She was driving into Taos, New Mexico, and um, had her recorder and just kind of wrote this on the way there. Um, and by a, a weird circumstances, um, Harold and we recorded a video on His the front version. porch. Yeah, we did. We did this. <laughs> we did this song on. Recorded this song on the front porch. If you go to our website, or all YouTube, possible. yeah, or YouTube, you can see us on the on the front porch singing this song. Um, and Harold knew that we had recorded it, and one day he knocks on the door and he says, he's got this piece of paper, he said, hey, that property, your house, it's it's up for sale for back taxes. You gotta go to San Luis and see if you can buy it. And so I thought, okay. So I went there and sure enough, for $35, I bought two acres of land, which already had a well on it. <laughs> In this house, wow. and so oh now gosh. we own. It's like say we're becoming land barons in Horoso. We have this, but the house is falling down. You can't be saved. If actually, if you look on the back of our our latest CD, it's called "It All Falls Away." There's a picture of the house, and uh, so anyway, that's that's kind of the story. That's of pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do with the the land, but it just seemed like we should own it. Build a lot. Get rid of the house and build a log cabin. Quite big. We're, we're running through all kinds of possibilities. We've got pages and pages of house plans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think y'all build it and shape it. <laughs> but you can only see it from the air. There you go. <laughs> Look, even from outer space. Even better. Just our good friends in the Coast of New Mexico would be inviting those guests they might not want. I would yeah. put them up. They're on the other end of New Mexico. <laughs> so this is called It All Falls Away.
gift, but you have an earthy sense of antiquity that I like. <laughs> you, you know, I really do. It drifts through your songs of, of reaching out to what's around, but it's that it's the antiquity that you have that floats throughout your songs over and over. You grab things mm -hmm. from history and things that from your memories and bring them today. It's really incredible. I, I love your writing. Yes, Thank um, you. very talented. And I'm lady. looking forward to you guys coming back later in the year. Also, want to just real quickly mention that uh, this Sunday afternoon at two o'clock, we've got Mr. Tony Ramey going to be with us. Um, we can tell you right now that we are not going to be able to have Tim McGeary here because of a health situation in his family. But Tony will be here, and we have a surprise for you with him. So plan on being with us at two o'clock here Sunday afternoon not our normal Saturday night so two o'clock the music will start about 3 30 and you guys come out and join us if you want to if you're near Waxahachie be sure and send me a reservation as we're we're about three-fourths full for that show right now so uh, once again thank you guys very much thank you for having I also want to thank our uh, listening audience tonight oh, yeah. here in the studio we are on Facebook Live, and we sure appreciate them tuning in as well. Wanted to thank Gabby and Reno for the engineering yep. work that they're doing in the back yeah, behind the scenes. You. And Jean and Barbara Moore, our photographers, who are going to make you just look gorgeous. <laughs> and I also wanted to thank Mr. Randy Treadway. Without him, this wouldn't be possible. Yeah. And you are in the music room. With Helen Treadway. <laughs> <laughs>